After a public outcry for transparency, police have now released body cam video from the incident. A 26-year-old man is pulled over for having the wrong license plate on his car. Things quickly escalate. Hey, stay in the car! Stay in the car! Do you have a driver's license? Do you speak English? Can I see your license? <laughs> what other one? Do you have a driver's license? Yes. Yeah, Where is it at? It's in the car. Get it for me. Patrick Leoya, an immigrant from Africa, talks to someone in the passenger seat. He does not produce his license. Instead, he closes the door and walks away. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. Put your hands Leoya starts running. The Grand Rapids, Michigan officer radios for help. 1915. Got one running. Wow. The officer tackles him. Okay. Dang. Leoya gets back on his feet, grabbing for the taser. You can hear it firing. They struggle for control of the weapon. Let go of the taser! Drop the taser! And it's at this point in the tape you can see the officer reach for his firearm. He shoots Leoya in the back of the head, killing him. The killing is leading to a chorus of outrage in Grand Rapids. What do we want? We spoke to retired L.A. Police Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey. We see the officer draw his weapon, and that's the last thing that you want to do when you're on the ground grappling with someone because you could have an accidental discharge. You could uh, wind up with a situation where now you've shot someone in the head. Stop. The police department called what happened a tragedy and says they will not publicly identify the officer unless he is charged. When we come back, a couple is pulled up.